All right. And so, uh, and somebody had asked earlier, you know, what's, what, uh, did you need anything special? And nope was the answer. Um, it's whatever you want to work on. If you want to use, uh, you know, colors or um, it doesn't matter, you know, what size tile or paper. Some people are using on sketchbooks because what we do is we're just exploring the, the tangle and having as much fun with it as we want. Um, Oh, and I was going to mention at the because as uh, Shulamit just put a put a little emoji across the bottom of the screen. If you're on, I, I, I'm imagining if it's on the on a tablet or a phone, maybe you you know hit the screen once. I'm not sure where the share emoji is, but on the and if somebody wants to type that in the chat, uh, that's good. Um, but if you're on a like a desktop or a laptop, you just move uh, your mouse on the screen and you see the you know the mute your mic. Uh, you know, webcam, share your screen, and then there's the share a reaction. And so you can send those across if you want to, because it's fun. All right. Oh, they tell you, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, well, if it gets, if it's as cold as it is, then it's, it's going to be ice here. All right. So let me do this. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that that you can't see right yet. <laughs> And I think I left everything up because I usually have a hundred. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, I usually have a lot of things open. And so I'm just, like I said, I'm sharing these in the chat. That way you have the links. I do plan to send out a recap. I, I keep, uh, I think I've got a couple sitting just waiting for me to send them out. Um, it seems like I was waiting for something. Okay. So the first one was mine. Second one is mom's. And then I'm going to put a picture from the video in so that way you can see that. And I'm going to show all this. I'll share the screen so that way, you know, if you're on a small screen, don't worry. Um, this is just kind of our process. And, oh, and that's uh, right. I was going to do a link to the video, which I apparently have to find that again. And I will. Oh. I have it up here a couple times. Let's see, make sure I got the right one. Yes, I do. All right. And the video has, has like I said, has no words. Um, uh, you just watch. And like I said, there's no link to any step out. And I did kind of search around. Uh, this is by Tangle Dream. And uh, she's from uh, Seoul. Um, and I can't remember... Uh, what her name was, but I had I did some digging and I still didn't find a step out. So, um, all right. So there's a link to the video. Save the video for later. And um, all right. So let me share my screen. And okay. And oh 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 good. Okay, this is mine. All right, mine that mine that I I fixed. Um, Something else that I, I forget to mention, because I usually don't introduce myself or mom, because because I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we're all family. <laughs> you just, you figure that out. And, um, <laughs> um, but one of the, the neat things that mom and I do are, like, I do things one way, she do th does things her way, and, you know, and you can pick who you want to watch or watch both or whatever, Um and I, and I forget to let people know because I've had only a couple people that kind of, they were confused by it. But like I said, this is exploring the tangle and then you can, you know, it, that's all it is. So, and it's fun. All right. So if you're familiar with doing the tangle mooka, and I'll, I'll, sh I'll demonstrate that when I'm done showing this, it is, I was calling it a half mooka because it's kind of, that's the stroke that they're using. And it's really, it's almost, it's all in one uh, without lifting up your pen, one one stroke, if you want to, you don't have to do that. But it starts up, and I I will put arrows on this and re uh, read um, send out a new link once I uh, w when I get the replays done and everything. Um, but you, so if you're looking at this, uh, the top line on this box number one, it's like you start there, you come up and over like a big oh, kind of S shape, and then into this orb and stop. At a certain point, and Viber, it, um, the square that I that I have in front of me is a three and a half inch, but you don't have to worry about you know whatever size that that well that way you have a frame of reference. But whatever size or shape uh, paper you want to use is good. 
Um, so, so again, I come up on a round and then make the big bulb and then stop at a certain point before hitting the other side. And then we aura, which that just means to outline, as you can see, and then come back to the same point. Then you can do this without lifting up your pen, moving to box two, and it's the same thing all over again, just a, a little bit smaller. Oh, hi, Alyssa. You know, and then coming back, and then you add a third one. The thing that um, in the video, I noticed she had some very faint um, pencil lines. But, what, you know, and what I did, the way I started mine, which you, I did, ha yeah, I had a border there. <laughs> so, so I, I had started off kind of this way um, with making my four corner dots and a border. And I made it the frame on the outside. So it, it is kind of helpful, but I only like to do it in this case. You know, freehand is, it, I think, is really nice. Um, but if you're not comfortable with that, you know, it's kind of you do you. So as you notice this, we're kind of, um, how would I say that? We have the, um, we're doing the curve kind of going to the right and where the, the bulbous part is down. Then, then we're going to do it the opposite way. So, you know, it's kind of kind of um, coming off of the uh, that first one we did, working in the other direction, and, and it's the same idea. And then we can decorate. The way that they decorate it is doing these, it's almost like a lowercase uh, cursive M with just these little, little three, three uh, curve lines uh, where, actually, where they can fit. So it's really in these bigger sections. And then some orbs and then um in well in those these sections you know putting just some little straight lines so that way it uh i don't know it just looks it looks neat and then add some shading which my uh scanner doesn't pick up the shading very well but it looks neat now one of the differences that we noticed or not noticed i noticed in their work the lines were really fine those stems but when mom does it hers are a little bit thicker Actually, actually mom looks like <laughs> they what? They taper. They taper. Yeah. And, and, it, and it looks more like a, like a kind of a comma. Yeah. Oh, yes, it does. Sort of. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's the same process. I just, you know, just show it just works. You can do it a little bit differently. And then what's what we were talking about earlier is that, well, gosh, instead of making the, the little M, you just do two curved lines and you have a heart. And um, so that's why it kind of went crazy with with the with the heart or yeah or a comma comma or you know apostrophe or, um, but yeah so that's that. Then just to show you that so this is uh, like from like the la one of the last at the end of their um, video they had this and so she did one as you see I don't want to say well I don't know when they drew this but you know if you you make a double line. And then draw the elegant in between. It makes a really nice border, or you can leave it without. And you just see how how um, how gorgeous it is. All right, and then okay, so that's all I have for that. So now, now we shall play. And actually, see, my mom did that in hers, and then I like that the shading that you did because it just made that center just pop right out. I was kind of thinking I might try that um, okay. versus going around the edge. Yeah, because what, what I plan on doing is more like what you did this morning. Oh, good. <laughs> see, see, this is how it works out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just switch. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I'm trying to do another page for my little book. Oh. That's oh, going to be filled with hearts. If, if nothing oh. else, this is my own theme for the month. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, and actually, I was thinking about using the black. I don't know. Am I going to regret that? I don't know. No, there's never, there's no such thing as, as uh, regret. The question is, do I want to use the thick? Oh, sure. Why not? Okay. And so I think, so. Let's see. <laughs> that and might really get... be, be good, too. If you put some red hearts on there to pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I will. And I think I'm going to make this. And I am doing. So I'm since I'm doing kind of a border. This is my string. 
So that's my string line. And for, the, for those of you who don't know what a string means, actually, that'll be um, for those that are new. Once a month, I do a class that I, I there's a fee for, or I have a, a paid club membership that um, a lot of people are on, and um, and it's included in that. So we're going to go over strings. Um, that's going to be our next one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use the 10. I'm going to make sure it works because that's always a fine idea. And it does. All right. And I always have to think, think. All right. <laughs> Although, let's see, you did yours. I drew the two lines first and then stayed within them. You know, I mean, oh, you I drew the line and then I ordered it and I did that one and ordered it. Oh. And then I stayed confined in those, between those. All right. Well, I'm going to do that. I'm just thinking, all of a sudden I was thinking, do I want to do that with the white? Oh, you know, on that. Well, I could have done it on mine too, except I did it in all black and white. Because if you make that thick enough, you could put little bitty hearts on. <laughs> <laughs> I could. Or, or red dots or pink dots or something if you wanted to add color. Yeah, which I which I probably will. All right, so because I'm going to do the border style, so I'm setting up the border already, as a lot of tangles will do this, have this, you know, nice double line. I'm just thinking, well, where am I going to start that from? Since I have these, I'm doing it on the angle. And move these out of the way, or I should just move my camera. And I said, and the way I did this one was I started off with the four corner dots, like I said, and then drew my border line. You could even just, you know, do a border at the top of the bottom and then fill it in with some other tangle. Um, so for those of you figuring out, I just I basically started from one corner, and but then yeah. I came back and snuck a little, just a two, comma one. In, in the big open space that I had. Yeah. So they don't all have to be exactly the same size. Right. Okay. So, and it's just a matter of which direction you want to start, you know, up or down. I don't think that that matters at all. Gosh, and I only might fit a couple in here. And, and you know what? And we do, and if you're wanting, we kind of air draw sometimes. So it's like, all right, let's see. How do I want to do this? And you know, then I think I'll fill in over here with something else, I suppose. Or I'll start it like it's halfway, like I'm starting it way over here. Okay, I don't know. All right. <laughs> I do a lot of hesitation. Just watch mom for a little bit. She's doing a wonderful <laughs> job. At it. <laughs> no. All right. We're just going to go. All right, so I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to do my curve. I'm going to go up and then have the, the bulbous part come underneath. And there is no such thing as a mistaken zentangle, which is probably why I end up taking a long time to get started. All right, so here's, and I like the big bulbous thing. So and I'm going to stop right here so you can see. So, you know, big curve line, and then I'm touching this. But I've stopped just shy of hitting that um, my original line, and then I'm going to come back. And like I said, an aura is just an, an outline where well, this one actually is going to taper a little bit, coming back to the same place. But we've kind of follow the contour of it, and then I'm going to come back out again, and I'm pulling out a little bit before. And then I'm going to make my big bulb here. And I'm touching the end of this, so I want them to butt up next to each other. Same thing here. And then coming back to the same point. And I didn't this I didn't do the mooka thing, which I'm if I well. And there's the last one. I don't know so much about that last one. It was so great, but the others are all right. I might have because I did these so big. Um, oh, maybe I'll do some on the other side. I don't know. Okay. Then, you know, the advantage of using the gel pen is that you have to go slow. So I can kind of talk and do it at the same time. All right. So then the next one is going to go the opposite direction, but I'm going to take it kind of off of here. So we call this take off and land. 
So I'm going to trace over a little bit, um, but not way up here. Let's see. Or, ooh, I'm going to do this one towards me. You know, see, and I didn't even think about that before, is one of the things in, in Zentangle is turning the tile, right? So it's so sometimes it's the same stroke, just turn your tile, and then it's the opposite direction. What I had been doing was, like I did this, and then I would do it opposite with my hand. But if I just turn my tile right, I can still come down because it seems like my hand likes to do that. I am thinking right, right? Yes, I am. Okay. So I'm going to trace over here. I'm coming up, touching the top of this and coming down. Whoa. And because I've made this all so big, it's a little bit more difficult to do it all in one stroke, but I'm going to see if I can. And that last one, it's okay. Yeah, and see, I just snuck a little one in that open corner. Here, yeah, I just did, I think, only two little little spokes i just you know uh, or little commas <laughs> oh but, but would you go the other direction yeah yep just like oh, okay. yeah but small you know i mean to fill that space yeah so let's just see how well i do this just like you're doing it yeah well, it doesn't have to hit the bottom i guess you know, this is one of those, it, it, it is nice because once you get the kind of the hang of it, you can break You can make the, the next one hit. Yeah. yeah. Like that. See, you even have room for another small one. I, when I did it, I didn't. See? Yeah. That last one, for whatever reason, it's kind of, you know, laying flat like it's squished, but that's okay. And it looks neat. And see, in in in, in this <laughs> in the space of the time that I've done this, look at hers is almost done. <laughs> this happened earlier, but I was talking a lot more. <laughs> She's already shading. Yeah, and I'm like, no. Oh, oh man! No, I did. I haven't done any of the <laughs> decorations yet. The decoration part. And actually, okay. you know, I, on mine, I and I I thought of it, but not everybody has it because, like on this other one we did the other day. No, that isn't it. That looks like that was from October. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. But on one of them, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. I did it in the background. This is on a gray tile. And I did it with a gray pen, a gray yeah. jelly roll. So it almost looks like the um, thing you did with the kneaded eraser. Yeah. You yeah. Know, but but it's that effect. It's just background stuff. Without, right. And I didn't shade it or anything. I just drew it. So. You did it with a gray. Yeah. Nice other uses. Okay. So with this and, oh, let's, you know, since I have colors and I didn't think about it, of course, but I do at least have them handy. That's one step in the right direction. Um, there, let's just see. We pull out a couple pinks. Oh, or I do it in white and use and color them in with the Prismacolor. Well, maybe that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that'll make it easy. So in the actual pattern, what I would do is in these spaces, right, I would do, say, three little bumps and then do, do these... Um, you know, little lines, and I'm not sure if Ma, are you doing hearts? Or are you doing? Oh, I am going to do hearts. Oh, okay. I just so... am looking for the right color jelly roll <laughs> pen to use. And what actually, after I had started mine with the hearts, um, I decided um, it was a little ways in. I can't even find. Oh yeah, I can see where I I started leaving a gap. But this is something that could be up to, that's completely up to you. Um. Okay, uh, you know, and just filling in any of the gaps with whatever you want, whether it's orbs or the, you know, the three lines, uh, the three curved lines with the, the um, I don't know what you call that, 
They look like veins, maybe. I don't know. Um, but what I started off auraing, and so I'd have like a heart in this space, but it was completely separate. Then I realized, oh, it's kind of a lot more fun to. So I'm just going to do it here. And I'm picturing how I want my heart to be, but I've shared the, so like traced over these lines like so. And then if I could fit one, you know, wherever I could kind of fit one in and it looked nice. And if, even if it was really small. So like here, and I'm just going to use this whole area. And then I'll end up, I'll color it in afterwards. Um, and actually, then I, f I found that I liked adding some of the orbs in, and that, that came in later. So it's like, if you really look at it, you can see where it's like, oh, here's where she changed her mind. <laughs> but that's my secret. Um, no, no, that's our secret, you know. Um, let's see. <laughs> Say that we're sure going to start sharing recipes. Yeah, not secret anymore. <laughs> oh, half cooking, half tangling. And... Uh, Oh, all right. And let's see. But this, yeah, like I said, this is, I mean, the decorating part is just the, the extra fun part. And, and sometimes you just have to get a little, well, being that, I, you know, wanting to stick with this heart thing, it's like you have to sometimes get a little bit creative, but... You know, and like here where we have this, I mean, this is a perfect bottom of the heart. We just have to get the top. And then I just trace over that. I love that you put the little um, reflections in that. Oh, in this? In this yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And I was kind of tickled how they turned out. I mean, well, I haven't, it's like one of those, oh, I haven't really finished. All right, and then let's see where else, where else? Oh, right here. Oh, no. So then sometimes I was like deciding, did I want to put it, because you don't, it doesn't matter what direction you have it. I was trying to make them kind of consistent, but like here, it's like, oh, this is just the perfect place for it. And it's one of those, you, you, you know, we all decide, you know, well, how do I want to have that place anyway? But I think I will. Sh I will shoot for being consistent here. And whoops, like that. Oh, and this will fill this little space right here. Let's see. Yeah, and then it's the after that, because I suppose I could do, well, like you did on your one earlier. Um, oh, let's see. Um, Storms and I do. <laughs> um, I was just, so just seeing which direction you, you, you started, because I think I asked you, it's like, okay, where do you go from here? Because that's where my brain always has a challenge. It's like, okay, well, this is nice. It's within this nice uh, it just structure. just started from another corner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I then... kind of, I, and you know what? Uh, Storm is asking, what did you use for the red in your morning one? And I was wondering that too. What? Oh, you... well, I used Prismacolors. Oh, okay. I used a, a, a crimson red, pink, and a ro well, pink and uh, magenta and I just alternated and I I didn't really do much shading a lot of times well I sort of did what I like to do with them is I I will kind of go solid on the outside border um I think a couple of them I added the white like as a resist and then I then I decided not to but I'll do kind of like I like my way of doing gems I'll do that on the outside and then a little light on the inside and for this, these I used the colorless blender and just, you know, 
use that for the burnishing instead of using white. But you can always use the white if you don't have one of these colorless blenders. Um, it is it, if you do that, it's always good to like play, you know, on a scrap piece of paper just to see how it turns out because it does change the color of that. But um, but yeah, so that's that's what. And then they had a little added a little green up there because they can't have a little flux. You know, I had to color them with something. Um, yeah, I just alternated. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> makes I did better on making it red. But um, yeah, I and mean, you're using one of the slicky. Uh, I don't know what this is. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. In the, yeah, by Pentel. It's right yeah, up there by, the, uh, by your hands. I couldn't. I couldn't. I didn't find one a jelly roll that looked the red that I wanted. Right. And these, yeah, this and is, I, I like those ones because they're they're yeah, just. This weird. is kind of on the pinky side of red too, anyway. But yeah, it's okay. Oh, and you know, let's see. Well, maybe if I start it, ooh, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to start another one down here. We'll just see if I can do you what, know what I'm I thinking. kind of looked at was which direction uh, the ones in the border are going. You know, I yeah. mean, like I didn't want it going exactly the same direction as the one that it might be near. If that right. makes any sense whatsoever. And really, just it's just in the border where, you know, because you don't have to have them flipping one direction or the other either. And, um, oh, well, Vibra, let's see. Let's see if I can make it easier. Let's see. Let's, let me, let me oops, sorry. Let me start on a white piece. You know, that's like, yeah, this, this is, this is one of those that just kind of, um, Oh, let me get a different tile because we want to explore and I appreciate you saying that. Okay. So I'm just going to start, I'm just going to do a border. Let's just do that. I'm just going to do it at the top. And so I'm going to make a string and here I was talking about, you know, the, the cheating thing. It's like, but this is going to be my string line. That's why I'm, I'm sticking to that story. So we were so the oil will well, I'm gonna start start fresh on there because I can play with the other one later. All right, and you know what? Let me also let me use a little bit thicker pen. Okay, 05 is what I have handy. How thick is that? Oh, it's not too bad. Okay. So And it's, uh, you know, I'm going to start with going over. So and I'm going to just start at this edge. And we're going to just do a curved line. Like so. And then so kind of touching the top. And then I'm, I'm touching this, this string line or my, whatever my border line is. And right when I do that, then I'm, I'm kind of turning it into an orb. But I'm not going to complete it. Like that. Oh, good. I, well, Jen, I'm glad. So uh, hopefully this will help more because it's more than, more than, well, I know that it will because some people, you know, we, we, I know myself, I just muddle along and stuff. So hopefully that makes sense. Just, you know, so this is your first, like one half of it. And then, and like I said, this part, it, 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 like if you look at moms, it doesn't, you could, you could leave, you could stop it right here and that's fine. I'm going to stop mine here, and then I'm coming immediately back, and this is what we call that aura, right? And doing that. So if I was to do it, in, well, so we'll just leave it like that. And maybe maybe we'll do several rows of this. We'll do it until it's just so that way, you know. And if you're if you're not feeling comfortable, do do put it in the chat so that way I can I can always go back. Okay. So once you have one. Then from this same point that we started, and make sure it's my I'm seeing good. Okay. And we're gonna do do another line. This one we can pull away a little. We're, we're gonna pull away a little bit. So let me. And then you have to do a little bit slow because we wanna we wanna start the curve so that way we can butt this line up with this end. 
put slot A into slot B is what I feel like I'm doing. <laughs> and those directions are always interesting. So sometimes it's a matter of you might position your tile so you can see it best. Actually, mine would have been better this way. So again, coming around like this and then stop just short at some point short of uh, colliding into that line and then just bring it right back to the point. And then we'll do a third one. Same idea. This is a way better angle. I should have done this from the start. Oh, and then see, <laughs> mine ends up like an oval. <laughs> this is apparently my new habit with this one. <laughs> Hey, you know, if you, if you, if you, um, oh, what I want to say. Do it consistently? No, if you, if you want to pick apart the ones I've done, um, that's what happens. I mean, there's just times when that's what happens. Yeah. And it's okay. Just squish them in so they fit. Right. And, and so let me, let me ask there, does that make, does that make sense and help? And you can always just do a you know a thumbs up or or type either way. Then do the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Awesome. All right, good, good. <clears throat> it's like, yeah, and now that you have that, now we're gonna just do it the opposite way. No big deal. <laughs> the opposite way always hurts, but here I'm gonna do this again. So I'm turning. Flipping my tile, right? So that way we can feel like we're doing that same same stroke going in the same direction. And so I'm gonna come off of this here. Well, actually I could I could start right here even and travel all the way over. I'm gonna try to do this one. Let's see if I can sort of do this in a you know one stroke idea. It just don't go too fast, is what I'm telling myself. Ah, it's hard when you're if you're working so close to the edge and I keep falling off. Yeah, we have to, let, me, let me turn my brain around. You know, and I, I think once you get the hang of it, although I think that while well, this one looks a little nicer, but this I was kind of stretching it, and again, it just doesn't it just doesn't matter. Oh, and I have another idea. How many of these can I get in? Well, if I made that one a little bit bigger, but I can go over it. All right. I'm ignoring that line. Pencil lines, whether they are a... Uh, you know, your string or your border or whatever are just a suggestion. That's all. <laughs> well, I was trying to make it look like something else, but it is. It is looking like something else. Are you ignoring the border that you made? You're just drawing them. I was gonna do two, but I was gonna try to make them look like hearts. But I started. I was like, oh well, let me start this one off a little bit further. But it just didn't. It just oh, you should have started it at the bottom of the other one. No, I should have started it here. Well, I was gonna start it here, but then no, it, it just still wouldn't look like wrong. a heart. It looks like have... the wrong angle. You should have started at the point where your other one began. There, oh, just like you did what? in the middle of your other one. That's okay. Gotcha. This is just a practice one. <laughs> They're all just practice That's ones. right. This is just us playing. They're all practice ones unless one turns out really, really good. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was like, now where should I go? Oh, Heather, I have to tell you something that's totally off the... Subject, oh, okay. and I have to tell you before I forget. Yes. So before I came down for this, Dad and I were watching an episode of The Connors. Do you know that show? Yeah. Okay. And uh, the one kid uh, was writing um, the really smart kid. I don't. Do you know the characters at all? It, 
I haven't watched the, the new one. Okay. Well, the really smart kid that's gay was writing uh, entrance, uh, um, the, you know, um, whatever, whatever, when you're going to college, you have to write a paper. Yeah. Yeah. Entrance, entrance paper. So yeah. he was writing. Or the these, entrance exam. Yes. He was, writing, was yeah. he, he was writing these for other kids that went to his old school that he went to. Oh. And, um, and they were paying him and his mom thought, he was selling drugs, but he wasn't, but that's what he was getting paid for. <laughs> and uh, so then there was a knock on the door one night, at one point, and it was a father um, who, he, they thought he was, you know, going to turn him in for doing, selling drugs, which he wasn't, or to the <laughs> principal for writing these papers. But no, he, what happened was he, uh, the kid inadvertently wrote, the pa same paper for two kids that were submitting it to the same school. Oh, two different schools, it wouldn't matter, but this was to the same school. And, uh, but the kid was just uh, trying to earn enough money um, to go to college, to Harvard. He wanted to go to Harvard. Okay. So the mom was trying to um, find some other way. She said she's been staying at night looking for scholarships and Oh, a nice heart, Heather. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was staying up, you know, looking, researching scholarships, trying to find yeah. a scholarship that he might qualify for. And, you know, you have to have a talent. You have to have something that they really want to make you come to their school. Yeah. So she, <laughs> and I knew this is what she, I sort of, so she said, I figured it out. What you have to do is... Um, you have to learn how to play an instrument that oh, no, nobody, don't tell me. nobody else wants to learn how to play. <laughs> and then they'll give you a scholarship. And guess what it was? Wait, wait. The contra bassoon. <laughs> oh, even better than this. <laughs> and I'm thinking, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. And that's not the contra, but... <laughs> But the thing is, I thought they don't know how much a contra bassoon costs unless you can rent one or something. But right, unless you get one from a school that uh, right, yeah. Oh, I can't even. Well, it's in its case. It's sleeping. I say, do you I'll find, still have, I'll find a picture and I'll share it. Do you still have the contra at your house? I do. <laughs> I think she probably maybe stopped teaching and forgot about it. I don't know. <laughs> We were kind of counting on that. <laughs> I was like, I should, I should go check and see if it's still there. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> that's hysterical. Uh, it's always the thing that nobody wants to play. That's so you see the signs that say uh, in the orchestra it says, "If you're not, if you, if you make noise during the performance, we're gonna make you go on stage and play the bassoon." <laughs> like. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I thought they were just gonna say bassoon, but yeah, well, yeah. I mean, that's that's the, somebody knew something, and they thought, well, we're gonna step this up. I think it was actually because I remember a friend saying that was a, they actually used that on a on Jeopardy or something like that, and they were so so happy that they knew the answer. <laughs> Oops. How is it? Let's see. Let me. Whoa, there we go. Okay. Now I've gone kind of wild on this one. And I'm glad that that helped. So <laughs> a little side thing. That's gorgeous. I'm still trying to find a good, a good pink. Mm -hmm. It's different than what I've already used. I found a light wait. pink, but oh wait, this maybe and I this think one. on this one. Because uh. I'm just gonna have fun and I'm gonna do those. Here's those the three lines. You know, and then you just kind of flick your pen a little bit so that way you have this, you know, tapering off type. I added a little flare with my hand versus you know doing a straight line. It's just a you know, pick it up as you um as you're doing it. And just coming from that uh, that center. 
just a suggestion. You yeah. can color it in with watercolor pencils, which I'm using right now, Arteza uh, woodless watercolors, and then you can paint it. There you go. I've done that with uh, some, I mean, there's yeah, so many options if you, yeah, if you, depending on what you want to do, what tools that you have. I know I did some once, I uh, used um, watercolor pencils and then, uh, you know, added, you know, kind of water afterwards to kind of just make it look, look neat. I'm not sure. What to, well, let's see. What that's, with that's exactly what I was saying. You can use either like the Derwent uh, ink tense pencils or like the Arteza watercolor or any of them. And then you take those uh, brushes that you fill with water, has a bladder yeah. in it, and you can move it around that way. I think that's really fun. It uh, is. I like your little not henna drums in between. You have to, <laughs> you're going to have to name them something. Well, I don't know what yeah, because I don't know what they yeah uh, they have a if they have a name. Call them or... You're gonna hate this Heather Humps. Henna <laughs> <laughs> petals. There we go. No Heather petals. <laughs> I like Heather Humps best. <laughs> let's, let's all vote. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Yeah, because that because we were talking about that earlier. There, there, the other that. Kind of stroke has been used in um in a number of different uh things. you know see this, this is where i have a question is okay so if i do that here do i bring a line up all the way from here that's what i ended up doing yep. <laughs> and then it, very carefully and then flick. well then you can kind of do something at the end there And actually, they also used um, uh, like the flux shape. So that would be um, for those that don't know, it's just kind of, you know, could come out just like so. And then you could either do that same kind of flicking thing, or I like to do the line dot dots with that. You know, you can add a couple of those. I don't know what I've got. Well, let's, oh no, let's see. Let me do this. I'm adding a couple hearts in here. And then when we do the orbs, just you know, if you make sure to color, uh, fill in these little gaps, it just really makes the whole thing look neat. And, um, oh, I'm going to get it wrong if I say, I think I know, remembering correctly, um, using the technique of uh, rounding, which, well, let's see, I'll do it here because I'm going to fill in the background. If you wanted to add just rounding in, it's just like this where you're taking a, a corner of some sort and put a little curve in it and then fill it in behind. And actually that that's a nice um, technique. But for these, I'm going to fill in that whole background anyway. And, and I need to look at the time because we're having way too much fun again. And yep, we're getting right close there. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. Oh, and I like what you're doing, having, doing some of the, doing the orbs in the colors too, mom. What? Is that, are you doing your little orbs or are you are those all hearts? No, they're, I'm doing orbs. Oh, okay. And they're in, in sparkly red. Mm. It, it, there's not too much of a contrast, but it's okay. That's what I'm doing. Well, there's, yeah, I mean, there's metallic and then th those are more glittery. It's hard yeah. to tell on the camera, but. Right, it's not going to show. But this, yeah, what a neat tangle. And then, oh, let me throw in some shading thoughts after I finish this right here. We'll, we'll focus in this one on, on this center piece that turned out good. 
Then it will then I'll just add a bunch of filigree in the rest, and it'll it'll be amazing. Oh, and I have to get this behind here. Oh, I just thought what I can do, but I don't want to. <laughs> uh, these two colors don't, you know, are are awfully close. I'm thinking. Oh, I could come back and fill in in between all of them with black. <laughs> you, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you could add some, then you could, if you needed to, yeah. What like I should have done first is just, in between. yeah, I, what I can do, I should stop what I'm doing, <laughs> outline all the hearts and all the orbs in black, and then color them in. Oh, yeah. That would be a much easier way to go. Well, it's a yes and no, because you know how when you use that th that metallic, and I think even the sparklies, it kind of covers over the black, and then you'd have to go back over uh, the black anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Oh, fine. We'll figure it out, right? So here's some shading thoughts. Um, and I did this on the, the, the first one I did here, which I kind of like how that looks, because you could either... A couple things that I like to do with this shape because it's kind of uh, well, it's like that Mooka shape, which I still didn't do that, but it's a little late now. Um, well, I can just show because I did it earlier. So if you don't know what Mooka is, it's kind of like this where oh, it helps if you just draw it. I should just do that just so that way you're right. If you've never tried it before, I know I have a quickie video on it. But it uh, it starts at a point, and this is all pretty much on one stroke, and you can either do them in furled like this, and it's just a matter of going back and forth. So you're changing your direction. You know, each time you hit that hit that bottom, and that's because I I did them big, I did them you know in on themselves, or or I mean I had to use the hollow bow technique to draw behind, but you can also do like this. And for those that don't know, the hollow bow is just drawing behind by, if you watch really quick. Here, so I'm taking my line and pick up my pen, I'm traveling it across where I don't want to go over. And that's all that it is. But anyway, it's a, it's a neat tangle, but it's the same idea. It's just that we're only like doing it on one side versus going to the right. And then you know, when you come back and then you flip and go to the left. And Wow. And since I haven't looked at this in a minute, that's amazing looking. Who did that? Wow. That's really oh, neat. Isn't it? Uh, well, and sometimes what I like to do on these shapes is I'll just do a little... Even with just the pen, a little, I call I call it a swoosh mark, but it's just a little C shape. And it just kind of it makes it look plump, <laughs> you know, just by doing that. So you can do that. Or with the graphite, um, I'm, this one, I'm going to keep doing this, staying a little bit, a little bit of a distance away from the edge. You could do it right up to the edge if you wanted to, but I'm going to kind of making a C a little ways away. Whoops. And then with the tortillon or whatever you might have to blend and, you know, just not necessarily, it's kind of still staying away from that edge, but just kind of fill in that space. And then two, we could kind of come up from, well, other way I should have done. That's all right. And if you end up with it, uh, like some of these, I really wanted to do it that way. It all ends up looking all right. You can also, where things converge, if you want to add a little graphite, like I'm just going to do here. It's almost eight. Are we going to show our beautiful creations? Yeah, we are. And so like that, it's just, and it's a matter of playing, but that's, that way we have, you know, some ideas. Um, for those, especially for those that are new. Like that. Wow, that looks really neat. I'm going to show this. Wow, and now you have to finish this one. I've got a lot of work to do. 
All right. So if you guys want to open up your webcams and let's see what everybody did. Oh, Diane, I love that. Oh, and that's, I mean, it's how neat. Like in a spiral-ish. Oh, my gosh. Ah, uh, Alyssa, that looks amazing. It's like a heart tree. Oh, it's and just, Anna, Carla. Oh. Finishing the shading aspect here. Okay. <laughs> Well, see, even if it's not completely done, it's all right. It's like two seconds and I'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting mine in a pile. Oh, these are amazing. Wow. And what was this? Carla's was practice. I saw yeah. that on there. That, oh, these are great. Judy, you and I were thinking along the same lines. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All Beautiful. right. Wow. All right. Well, hold them up for a second more. Okay. There's, oh, Cassie, are you ready? Oh, there she is. Okay. And we'll get Wait this. Wait a minute. Box. I got to bring my side up. Organize them. <laughs> I guess. I just look at the pile. There you go. And it's in two. Is it most everybody's? If, if you're, oh, there we go. Just up a little bit, Cassie. And everyone hold them steady one second. All right. Perfect. Is it crooked? Nope. No. That was perfect. Let me. Let me make sure I got it. And then, yes. Okay. And look, I'll share my screen again so that way everybody can see what everybody did. These are so cool. There's my screen. Oh, there it is. And I, Kitty, I think I got you. I did get yours, Kitty. That I like that in the in the in a cross like that. That just looks so neat. Oh, did I share it? Is it sharing? Am I good? No. No. That's because I didn't click the button. That's why. I'm like, I didn't hear the noise. That's Doesn't work that way. There we go. Got to hit the button. These are all amazing. I can move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're good. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I got them all. But yes, Alyssa. Look at Alyssa's. It's erecting yeah. the parts. I love that. Oh, and I like that, yeah, even doing one on the one side. And I think, Mom, you had done that. Yeah, <laughs> your arm didn't fall off exactly. And Cassie, I like all of the orbs on the one on, on either side of them. I didn't feel like hearts. That's all right. Not is that, today. Are they all in one box, Heather? Sorry, or is there another page? Oh, no, this was it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Thank yeah, you. this was all of them. But, um, Wow. I have a question. I don't often say this, but I love doing this and I like mine a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what counts. Yes. Doesn't it? I really like it. It's actually pretty awesome for me, especially with Mooka. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you yeah. don't call it Mooka. Yeah. So, yeah. Can I have a question for Sherry, please? If she colored her. I have a question for Sherry. Yeah. She colored she colored her page and then she's taking one of her um pens, her um micron pens, and then going over that color. Um my pens then tend to clog up. Yeah, well, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, then you so, scribble on a plain piece of paper and unclog yeah. it. Yeah. It, that doesn't I, didn't didn't work on one of my M my um my MP PM N one. I can't get well, it unplugged. Uh, so, hot water or what? Any other suggestions? I don't know. I, I, I don't think water would have a, an effect on it. Maybe okay. alcohol, like yeah, an alcohol, like an alcohol, alcohol wipe yeah. or something. Yeah. Thanks, maybe. Cassie. Cassie with a K. We'll see ya. Um, okay. Yeah. Maybe give that a try. The other thing that I had also read about about that is making sure not to push down to not to be too heavy handed to make sure to be light so that because it like that helps it clog when if we're too heavy handed and i usually kind of will, will wipe off my tip on a uh scrap paper you know every so often instead of waiting till it's like oh this is yuck type of thing okay, okay thanks yeah my only my main reason for doing it is like this the um 
my colors were just blending too much. It yeah, some, I saw that. Some more definition. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, that's my plan to go back and <laughs> outline every one of them. And then over here, I did the black in the background, which I like. So I'm going to do that as well so that it'll look more like Heather's. Because mm -hmm. I'm copying her. 